Um, and then starting next year, we, uh, we manufacture the Tesla Semi. Okay, the 2025 Tesla annual shareholder meeting just gave us a look at the newly redesigned Semi truck. Yeah, this is the current Tesla Semi version, and this will be the new 2026 Semi truck. Elon Musk emphasized that the Tesla Semi will be one of the three major products to enter volume production next year, with many big changes. So we've got, we got two big products, or three, three massive products starting production next year. We've got Optimus, we've got uh, Tesla Semi, and we've got the Cybercab. Elon Musk revealed that the Semi has been upgraded to be more efficient, have a larger payload capacity, and is now designed for autonomy. It's known that the new version features a redesigned chassis, new headlights, and many other features. The price of the Tesla Semi will also fluctuate slightly. It will be lower. This is great news for truck drivers who have been anticipating this model. So just how efficient will the new version be? Can Tesla truly achieve the figure of 50,000 trucks per year? And is this truck really as smooth as rumored? Let's start now. The Tesla Semi was first introduced in 2017 and deliveries began in 2022, and it has pretty much been stuck in that state ever since. The total number of Semi trucks produced so far is only around 250 units. Elon Musk has admitted that the current semis operating at Tesla, as well as those delivered to customers, are essentially prototypes. These were just test versions used to gather feedback before the company moves into producing a more highly refined version, which is why the semi-truck has almost kept the same design since 2017. However, it's time for it to be refreshed to look more futuristic and, more importantly, to achieve autonomous capability. Yeah, the world's first Class 8 truck that can haul cargo in an autonomous state. Although the Semi was not the main focus of the recent event, Elon Musk revealed a lot of major information about this model. He stated that the Semi refresh can be seen as a comprehensive update with significant changes and ambitions. Visually, there is no doubt that the most noticeable exterior upgrade is the front end. The Tesla Semi now features headlights styled after the Model Y and Cybertruck. I don't know how you feel, but we actually really like the headlights on the original Tesla Semi prototype. They look like the truck's eyes and the illumination was quite impressive. However, that doesn't mean we are unhappy with the new design. The new headlights, stretching across the front of the cabin, look more contemporary, aerodynamic, and sleek. Tesla has also equipped the Semi with a new front bumper, while the roofline now has smoother and more rounded contours. And guess what? The current Semi already has an incredibly low drag coefficient for a Class 8 truck at just 0.36. That's why it can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in only 20 seconds. With the refreshed version, it will certainly have an even lower drag coefficient. 0.34 is completely achievable. But don't think this is insignificant. You might not know it. But even a small 0.02 improvement in the drag coefficient can help reduce energy consumption by up to 5 to 7 percent, meaning the travel range could increase by tens of miles per charge. Yeah, you know, current diesel trucks have a drag coefficient ranging from 0.65 to 0.7. They consume more energy, reduce acceleration performance, and generate more wind noise. With a drag coefficient that is only half that of traditional diesel trucks, the Tesla Semi practically cuts through the wind on the highway. What do you think about the Semi's new light bar? Which set of headlights do you prefer? Getting back to the Semi's refreshed design, it's not just the headlights. The previously spacious windshield has also been significantly reduced. This might sound counterintuitive, but it's actually a huge step forward in terms of aerodynamics and safety. In the first version, the Tesla Semi featured an enormous windshield that offered a panoramic, almost cockpit-like view but that colossal glass surface also created significant wind drag at high speeds. In the refresh, Tesla has refined the shape of the windshield, making it narrower but more curved. This helps the airflow glide more smoothly over the surface, reducing vortex points around the A pillars. This not only lowers the overall drag coefficient, but also helps improve cabin and battery cooling efficiency by reducing the amount of direct solar heat entering the vehicle. Tesla further stated that the upgraded semi now supports a higher payload capacity, allowing fleets to transport more cargo per trip. Currently, the maximum gross combined weight include truck and cargo, allowed is 82,000 pounds. Being able to carry a larger payload means the weight of the semi itself will be reduced. The current semi is confirmed to weigh 23,000 pounds for the long-range version. We believe they might achieve this weight reduction through a new battery pack, 
as Dan Priestley previously disclosed. Specifically, another notable upgrade concerns the Big Rig's battery pack, as Tesla also confirmed the Semi will use 4680 battery cells when it enters production, the same cell type as the CyberCab, which is slated to enter production in April 2026. Tesla is preparing to equip its next-generation semi-truck lineup with the most powerful and modern battery the company has ever developed, the HV battery, also known as the 4680 cell. HV battery stands for high voltage, and in this case, it's not just a technical figure, but also a symbol of a technological leap forward. The 4680 cell offers an impressive energy density of up to 290 watt-hours per kilogram, while also significantly reducing production costs thanks to its breakthrough structural design. The power of the HV 4680 cell. Although Dan Priestley confirmed that the Tesla Semi Gen 2 will be equipped with a smaller battery pack, that doesn't mean performance is being sacrificed. On the contrary, thanks to the aerodynamic efficiency improvement of up to 7%, the truck maintains its incredible operating range while becoming lighter, more economical, and easier to operate. A dual benefit for both Tesla and the users. In fact, the Tesla Semi's transition to using the 4680 battery cells was a move long predicted by experts, and it makes perfect sense. This battery type, once considered the secret weapon of the Cybertruck, is now appearing in the semi, providing robust power, high performance, and superior cost efficiency, core elements for a heavy-duty truck. Furthermore, producing the 4680 cells right at Gigafactory Nevada gives Tesla complete control over the supply chain, shortening assembly time and optimizing the integration process. The improvements don't stop there. Tesla claims the energy consumption is reduced to 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile, a 15% improvement over the current semi-truck model. Combined with the 500-mile range, this update makes the new truck more competitive against rivals from Daimler and Volvo. The powertrain output remains at 800 kilowatts, but Tesla states that internal improvements like cooling, software, and thermal routing deliver more consistent performance under load. Another significant upgrade is the charging capability. The new Semi EV supports a maximum power of 1.2 megawatts. This figure far exceeds the capacity of the current megacharger and, when paired with compatible infrastructure, allows for significantly shorter charging stops. The payload capacity has also been increased, though Tesla did not disclose the exact amount of the increase. When first launched, Tesla priced the Semi at $150,000 for the 300-mile version and $180,000 for the 500-mile version, with the limited Founders series starting at $200,000. However, these figures are eight years old, and Tesla has yet to announce new pricing. So, what is the price of the new Semi? Of course, we cannot give an exact figure, but according to the latest sharing from Dan Priestley, he wrote on X. The new front end, besides having a new look, is packed with improvements. More aerodynamic, simpler to build, easier to repair, leverages more components from car lineup for better scale slash lower cost. More technical details on these to come. Yeah, clearly Tesla is aiming for a significant reduction in production costs for the Semi Gen 2. The design improvements to the front end not only make the truck sleeker through the, through the wind, but also simplify the manufacturing and maintenance processes utilizing more shared components from other Tesla lineups like the Cybertruck or Model X. This provides a scale advantage, a core factor that will help Tesla lower the final price while maintaining a profit margin. So, even though Tesla has not yet announced the official selling price, many experts predict the Semi Gen 2 could fall somewhere between $160,000 and $190,000, depending on the configuration and travel range. However, this version will certainly be much more refined than the current prototype. This price point not only reflects the upgrades in battery technology and aerodynamics, but also demonstrates Tesla's ambition to commercialize its heavy-duty electric truck line, moving it from a limited product to a more mainstream transportation platform. If the direction Dan Priestley hinted at holds true, the new generation Semi will not only be cheaper, but also more efficient both in the manufacturing and operational processes. However, Elon Musk stated that customers purchasing the Semi can customize the configuration based on their daily driving needs, which means customers could potentially buy a Semi for a lower price for a shorter range, or something along those lines. But even if the Tesla Semi does not yet have a low purchase price, it still brings enormous savings when considering its significantly lower operating costs compared to diesel trucks.
Okay, operating cost is always the key factor determining the success of any truck lineup, and this is where the Tesla Semi truly shines against traditional diesel trucks. Although the initial purchase price of the Tesla Semi may be somewhat high, over its operational lifespan, it provides massive savings, enough to offset and far exceed the initial outlay. First, let's consider energy cost, the single largest component of truck operation. An average diesel truck consumes about one gallon of fuel every 6.5 miles. With diesel fuel prices in the U.S. around $3.50 per gallon, the operating cost is equivalent to 44 cents per mile. In contrast, the Tesla Semi only consumes 1.7 kilowatt hours of electricity per mile. At the average commercial electricity price in California of approximately 18 cents per kilowatt hour, the cost is only about 30 cents per mile, nearly 45 percent cheaper than a diesel truck. If an average truck drives 100,000 miles per year, the Tesla Semi would incur about $30,000 in electricity costs, while an equivalent diesel truck would require $54,000 for fuel. This $24,000 annual difference represents a huge advantage, and when multiplied over a 10-year lifespan, the total savings can reach $240,000, nearly the purchase price of the Tesla Semi itself. Beyond fuel savings, the Semi also significantly reduces maintenance costs. Traditional diesel trucks have thousands of moving mechanical parts, internal combustion engines, transmissions, clutches, exhaust systems, turbochargers, etc., all requiring periodic maintenance or replacement every few hundred thousand kilometers. In contrast, the Tesla Semi uses an electric powertrain that is virtually maintenance-free, with no oil changes, no spark plugs, no transmission, and far fewer wear and tear parts. Tesla estimates the Semi's maintenance costs are approximately 60 to 70 percent lower than those of diesel trucks. Furthermore, the regenerative braking system substantially minimizes brake pad wear, a considerable expense for heavy trucks that frequently descend hills or engage in continuous stop-and-go driving. Coupled with the ability to use electric motor braking, brake life can be extended three to four times longer than conventional diesel trucks. When considering total cost of ownership, the Tesla Semi clearly excels. According to calculations by Tesla and customers like PepsiCo and Walmart, each Semi can save more than $200,000 to $250,000 over its lifespan compared to a diesel truck. Not to mention, if we factor in the benefits of reduced carbon emissions, with every 1 million gallons of diesel equivalent to 22,400 metric tons of carbon dioxide, the environmental and brand image benefits for businesses become even more apparent. The overhaul of the Tesla Semi's design goes beyond optimizing aerodynamics and reducing production costs. It carries a deeper strategic goal, to prepare for the era of full self-driving. According to Elon Musk, the Semi Gen 2 has been redesigned to align with Tesla's latest FSD hardware architecture. This means that the system of cameras, sensors, radar, and processing modules can all be more seamlessly integrated, providing optimal viewing range and data processing capabilities for a heavy-duty truck. As Tesla is progressively standardizing the hardware platform across its entire vehicle lineup, from the Model 3 and Model Y to the Cybertruck, it is an inevitable step for the Semi to catch up with that ecosystem. This will not only help reduce the cost of manufacturing separate components, but also pave the way for Tesla to deploy FSD over-the-air software updates across the entire Semi fleet in the future. If Tesla's ultimate goal is to build an autonomous electric trucking fleet operating 24-7, then the Semi Gen 2 is the very first cornerstone. A new, smarter design that is FSD ready. This is not just a technical improvement, but a statement of Tesla's long-term vision for the global transportation industry. The U.S. road freight industry is the lifeblood of the economy, handling over 70% of the total volume of goods moved domestically. Nearly every consumer product, from food and household goods to industrial components, must undergo at least one leg of its journey via truck before reaching the consumer. According to the American Trucking Associations, the industry employs over 3.5 million truck drivers and approximately 8 million jobs are directly related to freight transportation. However, behind these immense numbers lies a simmering crisis, a severe driver shortage that is putting the entire U.S. transportation system at risk of gridlock. This situation isn't new, but in recent years, it has become more severe than ever. The ATA estimates the U.S. is currently short about 80,000 truck drivers, 
a number that could exceed 160,000 by 2030 without strong intervention measures. The reasons for this shortage stem from several sides. First is the harsh working conditions. The long-haul trucking profession is known for its extended working hours, sometimes driving 10 to 14 hours a day, requiring drivers to be away from their families for weeks, eating and sleeping in cramped cabins, and constantly dealing with delivery time pressure. This severe working environment, coupled with stress and a high risk of accidents, causes many people to leave the profession after just a few years. Many people describe it as one of the most exhausting and lonely jobs in America. Second is the imbalanced age structure. The average age of a U.S. truck driver is currently around 47 to 55 years old, and the number of young people under 30 entering the profession is very low. This is partly due to the stringent requirements for a commercial driver's license and experience, and partly because the younger generation is less willing to accept the prolonged lifestyle of being away from home. Consequently, the workforce is rapidly aging, while the younger cohort is insufficient to replace them. In addition, uncompetitive salaries and benefits are also a major barrier. Although the average salary for a truck driver ranges from $50,000 to $80,000 per year, this figure is not attractive enough compared to the heavy workload and prolonged time away from home. Many smaller companies also cut back on benefits or pay by the mile, leading to unstable income. The driver shortage doesn't just affect the logistics industry, it also drives up the cost of goods, leading to inflation. When there aren't enough drivers, goods are delayed, businesses are forced to pay more to hire drivers, and ultimately, this cost is passed on to the consumer. The Tesla Semi is not just a technological advancement, but also a truck that could lure the younger generation of drivers back to the U.S. trucking industry. Instead of sitting for hours in a noisy, hot, and shaky cabin like traditional diesel trucks, the Semi offers a driving experience similar to a premium electric vehicle. The central driving position, 360-degree visibility, modern dual touchscreen displays, and advanced driver assistance systems make controlling an 80,000-pound heavy truck feel smoother and more intuitive than ever before. In particular, the full self-driving capability being developed by Tesla promises to be a major game-changer. When FSD is activated, drivers can allow the truck to operate autonomously on the highway, significantly reducing stress and fatigue during those long, multi-thousand-mile trips. This will not only enhance safety, but also help improve the physical and mental well-being of drivers, who are among the most highly stressed groups in the transportation industry. What is the one feature you would like to see added to the Semi Gen 2's cabin design? In your opinion, which is a bigger challenge for the trucking industry? Drop a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss the next update on Tesla's journey toward full autonomy. Thanks for watching, and, as always, stay charged, stay curious.